So you're widely known as the king of surf guitar, right? No. Wait. I got some coots now. I'm in GQ magazine. I've heard of that. I read the article. What it, you know, basically, basically what it is is they, yeah, they, they called me king of the surf guitar because I was surfing. But actually, before that happened, Gene Cooper was my big hero on drums. So I was playing on drums, my mom's canister set, you know, in the flower cans, banging on them, you know, listen to the big band era. My dad would kick me in the butt all the time because I'd scratch her cans and stuff like that. So I went from that into to, to the piano, but I had that rhythm in my left hand all the time. So what happened was, in those days, when I was very young and the dinosaurs roamed the earth, this is, I used to, you could go to the movies for 10 cents. Gasoline was only 12 cents a gallon. I worked, I used to work for five cents an hour. I was in an Arabic bakery making Arabic bread and they'd hide me in the bathroom when the inspectors came in because I was too young. But what happened was in those days, we didn't, didn't have the money. I used to set up bowling pins, you know, like this the hard way. You know, they threw the ball down. Then I got fired because I threw the ball back at the woman because she, <laughs> she did. I was setting them up and she threw this stupid ball down the alley. It was coming right at me. So I threw a pin back at her <laughs> and I got fired. And then they, they came in with automatic pin setters after that, you know, because we used to pride ourselves, man. Nobody puts them on the spot like we do, you know. Like that. But, you know, the m machines came and took my job away. So then I was reading a Superman magazine. And in the back of the Superman magazine, it said, if you sell so many jars of Noxzema skin cream, then send us the money, we'll send you this ukulele. And, it had, and I always wanted to be a cowboy singer. And so what happened was, you know, they sound country singers, but I always wanted to be a cowboy singer because I wanted a horse. When I was getting my tonsils out, I asked my mom and dad, can I get a horsey? You know, all they got me was these little plastic boats, but I never got the horse. But still, it said, if you sell all the stuff, we'll send you an ukulele. Some people call it ukulele, but really it's called ukulele. And, and actually, does anybody know what the word ukulele means? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. How are you? How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Uh, anyway, geez, I know so many people in here. Wow. But anyway, what happened was I went out in the snow at night, banging on the doors in Quincy, Massachusetts. I was born in South Boston. And, and they say, Dickie, how come you're not in school? You know, go to school. I goes, I gotta sell these Noxzema skin cream. So I sold all this cream, sent them all the money, and I waited about four months. And in came this ukulele, green with a cowboy on it and a horse with a lariat and everything. It was made out of pressed, compressed cardboard. And the pigs, the pigs would fall out. I got so frustrated, I smashed it, put it in the gas in the garbage can. I got my little red wider rider wagon, you know, and I put my Pepsi bottles in it and Coca-Cola bottles, and I got $6. I bought my first plastic ukulele for $5.95. Now, I couldn't figure out why my finger wouldn't go. I bought a, first I bought a cord maker, and you could strap it on and you push on it, and it's supposed to push down on, on the strings. And that way you don't have to worry about nothing, it just does it. But what happened was it would rattle the strings because it was carved out, you know. So I said, this is no good. I'm going to learn to put my fingers where the book says. I couldn't understand why my fingers wouldn't go where the book says because the book didn't say, turn it the other way, stupid, you're left-handed. <laughs> That's the truth. So by that time, I, you see, I wanted to pick with this hand because this is my drumming hand, right? <clears throat> Being left-handed. And don't mess with me because I'm left-handed. Do you know how hard it was for me to overcome being right-handed? It went right, see, it went right over your head. Look at that shit. See, we're smarter. Okay, what happened was, so I'd go to sleep at night, and I'd take some tape from my daddy. He, you know, he was making, taping some wires and stuff. I'd take the tape, and this cord here was the, what was it? That's it right here, watch. That was the hardest thing in the world for me to do on the ukulele. So I used to t tape my fingers to the ukulele and go to sleep thinking that the fairy godmother would... <laughs> make me wake up in the morning and they'd be there automatically, but it wasn't, you know, it was all over the bed, you know, the tape. So I just practiced and practiced and practiced. And then one day I learned three chords, upside down, backwards on an ukulele. And the first one I think is called the G. I can't read music. I never took a lesson in anything in my life. I'm like a jack of all trades, master of none. If you have the, the, the desire, just go with your desire and you will learn. Ask questions. You know, so I went like this, now watch. Here's the first chord. That was, I suppose to be G, it might be out of tune, I don't care, and who cares. This next one is C. 
And then the next one, what is the next one? What's the next one? Is it, who, who said that? You're a professional. Don't take it away from the little kids. I mean, I mean, get, he gets fined $5 every time he's looking at the girls and not me on stage because they don't know what I'm going to do next on stage, neither do I. So that's the whole thing in a nutshell. He's always looking at the girls and shaking his hair all over the place. <laughs> Jesus. And, and so then he gets fined five bucks every time I turn and I say, I'm going to change. So that. <laughs> so he looks prettier. Oh, geez. Fluff up the tires, please. What well, anyway, watch. This is the, this is the note, uh, the key. Uh, the, whatever you call it. That's a D, right? You said D. Huh? It's a seventh? No way. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the seventh too. Wait. Yeah, yeah. So this is that one. Yeah, thank you. How old are you? Twelve. Got it. You watch out when he gets 17 because he's going to think he's 25. Right? Yeah. When, you were t when my boy was 12, he used to tell people, my dad is really smart. He's a great teacher and he's very wise. Now he looks at me, dad, you're lecturing me. <laughs>